So there are often situations where you need to perform a disk space check on your Linux operating system. Maybe you received a notification warning of your hard drive space running low or received a message from your server provider about low disk space. Now one option, if you're on a desktop install of Ubuntu, is to use the Disk Usage Analyzer tool. The problem with this tool, however, is that if you have a larger hard drive to check, it can take a long time to run. Also, because it's run as the currently logged in user, it doesn't have access to all the directory locations. So the disk usage problem could be in a place that the tool can't access. Now, if you're managing a server, there's no GUI tool like the Disk Usage Analyzer that shows you which specific directories, subdirectories, or files take up the space on your file system. The disk space usage could often be unrelated to your website's files and instead be caused by some software update caches, large log files, or other server-related data. Fortunately, with a bit of command line knowledge, it's easier than you might think to hunt down what's taking up a lot of space on your hard disk, whether you're on a desktop or a server version of Ubuntu. Now all Ubuntu distributions have a disk usage or DU command. The command line tool estimates the disk usage in a specified directory. It does this by first summarizing any directory tree, the hierarchy of directories, in the given directory, followed by a usage summary of all the files in that directory. Knowing how to use this command with a specific set of options will help you isolate the disk space culprits. Running the du command on a specific directory without any arguments will display a summary for that directory. To ensure that the disk space command has the required root user permissions to read the directories you are pointing to, you can prefix the du command with sudo. Here's an example of the output you might get running the command to check the disk space on the home directory of a user on a spin-up WP server. In this example, we've added two additional directories, logs and files, which we'll use later to explain how to customize the du command. Some things to note about this output. Number one, it traverses through the directory tree for the home directory, showing the path to each directory it finds and summarizes the total disk usage of that directory. Number two, it then finds the total summary of the disk usage for the home directory. Three, it shows the size estimates in bytes, which is not always helpful when looking for large files. Number four, it shows all the files and directories, including dot files, which aren't usually a culprit for large disk space. Number five, it doesn't order the results in any meaningful way. As you can imagine, running this on the root of your server or inside your site's directory on a spinup WP managed instance will output a much longer and confusing list of directories and files. So we want to start filtering the results so that they are much more valuable. The first change we can make is to add a wildcard character to the end of the directory being summarized. Now this data is much more useful. Number one, it excludes the dot files. Number two, it does not return the total summary for the entire home directory. In this simple example, these results are better than the first set you can see that the media directory takes up a lot of the space. With larger result sets, it would be preferable to make those disk usage values more easily recognizable. It would also be ideal to only report on the top level directories in the directory being checked and then drill down even further from there. There are two arguments available to the du command that are helpful here. The dash h argument prints out the sizes reported in a human readable format. Adding the dash sh argument limits the results to just the total estimates for the top level directories in the home directory. Being able to sort the output by size is another essential part of checking for the disk space hogs. To do this, we can add a filter to the du output using the sort command. As its name suggests, sort allows you to sort lines of text files. 
We use the pipe character to send the du output to the sort command and then add the dash h and dash r arguments to sort the data by human readable numbers and reverse the results showing largest to smallest. With this combination of du and sort commands, we can now investigate what is using the most disk space. From the previous example, we saw that the media directory was using up 1.2 gigabytes of space. Now we can examine the media directory and see the list of files from largest to smallest. For example, right at the top, the moon and CHD final render.mov takes up almost half of the 1.2 gigabytes of disk usage that we saw earlier. This is a simplified example of how you would keep repeating this process as you discover the directories with significant total disk usage until you find the files taking up space. Let's look at a more real world example. Your first step will be to check the root directory of the hard disk. Depending on your server's hard disk size and the amount of disk space in use, this could take a little while. Here's a simplified example of what this output might look like. As you can see, the site's directory is taking up 19.8 gigabytes of space and is probably where your problem lies. So your next logical step would be to update the command to report on the site's directory. This command might return something like this. In this example, site3.com is taking up a whopping 16.2 gigabytes of space. Next, we'll see what's happening inside the site3.com directory. You can continue running du in this way on subsequent folders until you find the culprit. Sometimes it might not be your site's directory that is taking up a lot of the space. It might be some other directory like var or temp that needs cleaning up. You can run the du command on these directories in the same way you did for the site's directory and keep drilling down until you find the problem. Once you've found the offending directories or files taking up space on your server, you'll want to figure out a way to move them off of the server. If there are essential media files for one or more of your WordPress sites, you might want to consider offloading them to a cloud-based file storage service like Amazon S3. If there are large log files or other files you're sure you don't need, you can delete them from the server. Let's look at two examples. In the first example, let's just delete the debug.log file. In example two, let's delete the Elementor directory created in the WordPress uploads directory by the Elementor plugin, which you previously installed from a WordPress site. And there you go. Using this process, you can now manage large files like a pro. If you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.